Well, good evening. The little ones that have had needed through almost a whole day here. Well, they, a whole day for all of them, I guess. I've been able to get sev several feedings of colostrum. The only one that's given me any trouble, really, is a little boy. That little, uh, that little lighter brown one that's on the right side here. Yeah, him. He's fussing. He's a fussy little man. Doesn't like the bottle. And I've been able to get him to suck. He ate last uh, four hours ago when I fed him. But the other two, they did pretty good. They both uh, latched on for a while and drank quite a bit. Each time, the little darker girl closest to me here is uh, has eaten the most. So she's doing good. Poor Gladys, though, is still not doing well. I talked to the vet. We're going to give her a few days and see if she gets better. She was snoozing when I came on here just a few minutes ago. I had to wake her up just to make sure she was okay. These guys are doing good. Jer Bear is up there hunting like he likes to do. And they're all doing good there. <laughs> Someone gave me some suggestions for names here for uh, for Frigg's little boy, little ones. So, like this one here is maybe Wilma. The one under new, uh, underneath there is Pebbles, and the little boy there is Bam Bam. And I kind of like those names because they're just fun. Yeah, fun, fun, fun. Now I need some some names for uh, for Coco's little ones, a boy and a girl. I don't know what we could say. They're both really sweet. I don't know. Maybe something like sugar and spice? I don't know. Give me some ideas, guys. Yeah, they're awful cute. And then I'll need some names for these. Let's give them another three or four days before we give them names, though. I want to make sure that they live good and that they're feeling good. I think the little girls are doing pretty well. The little boy, he's going to be tough. He's very much a mama's boy. But everybody's dried off. They all at least say that they got their tummies full. Like I said, that little dark girl, she eats and eats and eats, and that's great. The other little girl eats some. She didn't eat as much as her sister. But she's a little smaller than her sister. So maybe that played into it. But the boy is bigger than both of them. And, uh, well, not combined, but he should be eating more. Yeah, and I'm a little concerned about that. So, but he's got some colostrum, and we'll feed it tomorrow, too. I think I'll try to hit him. I did it, like, four times today. And I'll try getting out here again early and getting him, uh, getting him fed. So. I need some names. Names, names, names. Oh. Tell me some names for these babies. Two girls and a boy, and a boy and a girl. Hopefully with C's, or at least starting with the same letter for those two. They're practically identical little goats. Other than the disbudding start is being different because boys get disbudding different than girls. They get a little extra bird. They're almost identical. So, anyway. Thanks for watching. If you've watched this long, please uh, click that subscribe button. Hit the little bell for uh, notifications of when I post again. And share with your friends. And I will talk with you guys tomorrow.